Meditation is a means by which we take our attention away from the activities that we are surrounded with and we focus it into another arena, an arena which is spiritual, arena which is more conscious, arena which is full of love and light of the Lord. And as we focus our attention into that arena, we achieve happiness which is going to last and last and last. We experience harmony within ourselves which will stay for all times to come. And we experience peace which is not only for the time that we are meditating but for long periods afterwards. So meditation is a process by which we are going on a journey. So this journey is a journey of love. This journey is a journey of having us being unfolded into regions of beauty, into regions of light, light we have never experienced before. Meditation is a journey that takes us to this haven of peace, love and harmony within ourselves. And it's just like uh, that state is available to each and every one of us 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. It's not only just for a certain amount of time. And to go, to go on the journey, I mean, we don't need any uh, vehicles, any cars, any planes to get there because where we are journeying to is all within ourselves. You know, the macrocosm is in the microcosm. And, and sometimes it's difficult for us to understand that because we live at the level of our senses. Our sense of sight, which is a predominant sense, our sense of hearing, which is the next dominant sense, a sense of smell, taste and touch. So we generally operate through these five senses and most scientists are telling us that 83% of what an average human being does depends on their sense of sight. So this is why we all believe, like I saw it myself, this has to be true. Because whatever we see, we believe it to be true. The next dominant senses are hearing, about 14% of our activities on an average happen through our sense of hearing. And so we take something that we've heard as being exactly true. And the sense of smell, taste and touch only account for 3% of our activities. And all of these faculties, all of these uh, senses are taking us and making us aware of the world in which we live, of our surroundings. We get up in the morning, uh, we turn the light on, we see, we go to the bathroom, we brush our teeth, uh, you might want to hear music. So we start to use all of our senses as we get up in the morning. And all day long, that's what we used to. So we start to think about our existence in this world being such that everything that we want to get, we think will come from this world. So most people want to be happy. There's no one who doesn't want to be happy. And so we look for happiness in this world. So what do we do? We feel if we have more uh, wealth, if uh, we have more uh, intelligence, if, if our physical body would be fit and fine and we would stay healthy, that we would be happy. And what is very interesting is, if you look back at history, if you look at the kind of research that people do, uh, it, we realize that the happiness is not coming from any one of these. Happiness is a state of the mind where uh, one uh, is happy when they're content with what is happening in their life. 